Good day brothers and sisters and welcome to the channel. Brothers and sisters, I hope that you are doing very well. Uh, brothers and sisters, this week I want to come and release videos to do with trust in God in uncertainty. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Whether it be you are faced with a decision and in that decision you don't know where God's plans over your life, how that decision or that route uh, you, you might be wanting to take, where it fits in over the plans God for you, what God has revealed to you over your life, or you're just in a situation situation where you're saying, God, I don't see you right now. I don't know if to go left or right. I want to be tackling uh, uh, or giving words on that topic this week. But just to kickstart uh, this series of trusting God in uncertainty, I want to tell you guys of an incident that I had that actually brought me here and, uh, and where these words uh, have been birthed. So over the last a few weeks, I've been going through, um, I, I, I think, I don't know if I should say a T-junction, but I'm at a place where I've had to make decisions. And trust me, it's good decisions. I've had offers made to me that are so good. But as much as in the worldly sense, these were good uh, things, these were things that other people are praying to God about, I was, I was then stuck and I felt like, God, you have shown me the plans you have over my life. I am looking at the situation and I don't even know how it fits into the plan you have over my life. So I was in turmoil thinking, am I, being, uh, am I going to end up making the wrong decision? Am I going to end up trapped in a situation I shouldn't be in? God, where are you? Guide me, show me a sign, tell me where I should be going. Should I go left, right, or should I go straight ahead? Okay, fine. So, uh, uh, one of the things that I need to put, um, to, to, to share with you before I even tell you the encounter I had is that, you know, I, I, I'm in full-time ministry where I haven't been working, but I have a son. I'm a single mother and, and you know, this child needs to go back to school. I've been homeschooling him, uh, the covid being part of our life made that easy but at the end of the day he needs to go back to school he needs to socialize that means school fees and all those other expenses that come with that so one of the, the things I, I i had gone back to god with is god you, you have i hear i am in service to you uh, but at end of the day i also need to be able to take my son to school i need to take care of these worldly um, situ uh, uh, issues like uh, school fees and so forth. Yes, I have provision. I'm able to pay rent, but there's these other things that I need you to tell me how this plan you have over me. How do I manage to to to, to fulfill these things, right? Anyway, so uh, those are some of the prayers I was given. I was uh, uh, pointing out to God or, or or praying. Fine. So one of these days when I was just in my inside of myself waiting seeking hoping i can hear uh, of god i decided to take my son to the park and this park is it's quite a distance away sometimes we drive to this park but this day we decided to walk and uh, it's in the middle of a very very nice house it's like a very nice suburb he my son played i was just there watching him just listening anyway so we decide to go back home and as, as we are driving back home there is this very small private school in the middle of these houses and you know this was the very first day where i have i happened to be there when school was coming out so kids were coming out there were mothers walking from their houses literally like where it's it's like one of the houses is is the school so some mothers were just getting out of the gate uh, walking into the school somewhere in the cars parked along the road waiting for their kids to come to the cars some mothers would open that window oh hi you know hi cheryl or hi hi whoever like greeting each other and i was i was like absorbing this moment and this is one of the schools that i have searched um especially for my son because i've always said he has some developmental uh delays you know i had researched the school it's very small i felt like you know if my son went here he would get that uh, what he needs that one-on-one -on -one, um uh 
care that he needs uh, given his the, the 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 issues he has right so i i'm this in this moment looking at those kids coming out of the school looking at the mothers and and all of a sudden um there was a car in front of me right i'm looking at this this is a situation that seems so far for me but it's something that my heart wants it wants it i want it with all my heart and I, I, I was passing this car, I, I, I did not see the woman inside it. Um, but all of a sudden, she raised her arm like this. She raised her arm. I don't know if she was scratching her ear or whatever she was doing. She raised it and right across her arm here, at that very moment when my eyes landed inside that car, right there was a tattoo along her arm. And it just said believe that's all it said it said believe and it, it had a little star next to it and it for a moment it's like the earth stood still for a moment i felt shivers going down my my spine right there and there i felt the presence of god i felt like god i hear you all i need to do is to continue to believe all I need to do is to continue to trust that if and when I come to you at, with any situation, even though I might not hear of you, God, even though I might I might not hear be hearing you saying, no, definitely go left or definitely go right. I need to trust that as long as I involve you in this decision making, then you are with me. Not only that uh, with regards to making a decision uh, uh, amidst uncertainty, but also I need to believe that when I pray to you and I say to you, God, this is my child. You know his needs. You know my circumstances. You know the life I'm living. This is what I want for him. I need to believe that you hear me. I need to believe that you can, um, within the plan you have for me um you can orchestrate things such that i'm able to 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 get the prayers answered the, the answered the answers to the prayers i've been uh, coming to you with yes you told me that this is the plan you have for me but i've also been coming to my to you with personal desires i've been coming to you with personal wants and needs and i need to just believe that indeed you are hearing me. I may not see why this is part of the long-term plan, but I need to believe. I need to believe that you were there that night when I cried to you. I need to believe that you were there that time when I was weeping uh, before you, uh, saying, God, I need to see your hand in my situation. Uh, brothers and sisters, just to end off this um, this uh, video, I just want to take you to Luke 145. Uh, this is a verse I have mentioned on the channel that I'm saying right now is the verse that keeps me going. But I'll repeat it again to you. Luke chapter 1 verse 45, it says, And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a fulfillment of those things that were told to her by the Lord. So, uh, my brother and sister, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know. Yours might be a situation where you are going through a hard situation and you don't see God. Yours might be a, a, a place where you are at a T-junction and you have to make a decision and you don't know what is the right one or or the wrong one where sometimes maybe you feel like this is a counterfeit or you feel or you, or you fear that you, you don't know that but you fear it you just don't know what decision to make i'm just here to say to you your job is to involve god in that decision and even if it's silence that you are hearing trust that by virtue of involving him in that decision he will orchestrate and work it all out for the fulfillment of the promise and the plan he has over your life in the mighty name of jesus be blessed um like i said this is just the first video in what i will call this series called trust in god in the 
uncertainty. This is what I've been going through. This is what I've been navigating and, and trying to learn. How do I trust that he will get, I'm not making the wrong decision. How do I trust that God is with me in this decision? How do I trust that I am not going to end up in a place where I look back and I say, at this time, I made the wrong decision and I regret it. How do I trust that I am doing the right thing? This is what this series is going to be about. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. I hope that this word encourages you. And I just, just want you to believe believe that as long as you trust in God and you believe he shall fulfill the words, he fulfill the promises, fulfill those things that he revealed to you about your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed. Have a good day, brothers and sisters. Amen.